When my daughter turned one, I started thinking about having another baby. And while it proved difficult at the time to get pregnant, I kept having the feeling that I wanted something to mother, a new baby to take care of. And so I found an ad for this little tiny chihuahua puppy and I felt a calling. I felt that I was meant to get her and I broached the subject to my husband and I said, I think I really want this puppy. And he said, no, no more dogs. And I said, but it's almost Christmas and I think she would fit our family so well. And he said no, but, but then eventually he did cave and he got me the puppy for Christmas, for my Christmas present. I felt such a strong connection to her and she was meant for me. What I didn't know at the time would happen was that my new little puppy would fall in love with my, my one-year-old daughter. They fell in love on a whole other level. Even though I wanted the dog for me, it turned out to be my daughter's dog. They did everything together. It was my one and a half year old daughter that taught her to walk on a leash. It was my one and a half year old daughter that gave her her bath. First bath, actually, in the toilet with the door closed. And I was walking in to find her, swishing her around in the toilet. It was her that grew on the slip and slide. It was her that walked her around the neighborhood. It was her that had matching dresses. It was her that dressed her up. She slept with my daughter. She did everything with my daughter. And it was a true love affair. And it was beautiful to watch. They would play all the time together. I swear, this little dog was my daughter's first sister. They grew together so incredibly well. And it was such a match made in heaven. And then one day, as my daughter got older and older and older and she got busier and busier and busier and she went to school and she started to do things outside of our house I started to have more time with the, with our little dog Macy Macy was the best dog though she loved everybody she loved all of our dogs she loved every person that ever came into our life everywhere we went people said they were so shocked at how good she was they always had such a bad idea of what a chihuahua was like until they met Macy. Once they met Macy, they couldn't believe she was just so loving and sweet and gentle and kind. I swear Macy was never a dog. She was she was a person. I could see a person inside that little girl. I love this dog more than I loved any other dog that I've ever had before. She just was the most cuddly, sweet, amazing puppy. As years went on and she got older, she came back to me. She started to come to me more often than she would go to my daughter. It was only the last year or so that Macy started to really slow down. When she was 13, she stopped being able to go up the stairs and jumping up and down off the couch. We'd have to lift her instead. Other than that, she remained in amazing shape and such good spirits. Other than her not being able to jump as much, you would never know that she was 13. That was until this last Christmas. This last Christmas, I saw her take a couple of weak steps, and just as I was about to reach for her and check her over, she would right herself and be fine again. But I could see it in her eyes, and I knew she was tired. I had a dream that Macy would die in my arms sitting on the couch, and I knew that wouldn't happen because if it ever got to the point where she was gonna die, I would take her to the vet, and I would have her put down, and she would die at the vet in my arms. But it happened so suddenly and so fast, I wasn't truly expecting it, but I wasn't surprised at the same time. Everything seemed okay, and we went out in the morning. But by the time we came back early in the afternoon, and I let Macy outside to have a pee, she stumbled. So I picked her up, brought her in, wrapped her in a blanket, because you know chihuahuas, they're always cold, cuddled her close to my body, and I looked at her and I said, what's wrong, Macy girl? As I was rubbing her head, she looked up at me and stared straight in my eyes and tilted her head a little to say thank you, like thank you for rubbing my head and thank you for being there. She was so calm and so relaxed, but I watched, but as I watched her, I saw the light just completely leave her eyes. So peaceful and so quiet, she just left. I'm so glad she waited for me. I'm so glad that I got to be with her. And in the end, she died in my arms, snuggled up tight and close to me on my couch. I truly believe everything happens for a reason. I'm so glad we got to be her family. We had 14 years of the best life with her. I'm so grateful that we all got to know her and she touched our lives 
all of our lives in ways that only a little dog can. Goodbye, Macy girl. We love you so much. We will see you again one day. We miss you. Don't you know that you're beautiful?